Hi there, this is Art and Such with my Rainbow Loom tutorial for Gandalf from Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. Uh, this is a requested tutorial and I have adapted from and been inspired by a number of different loomers. So before we start, I wanted to let you know this is an advanced level project and I wanted to give you a heads up about what we're doing and what you're going to need. So I will be making one arm with you and I'm going to have you make one arm on your own. I am going to get you to do the staff on your own, but I will explain to you how that works. For colors, you're going to need white for the beard, gray or white or brown for the hat and the outfit, and in this tutorial I'm going to use dark brown bands for the outfit because my grays are not very strong. You'll also want brown or another color of your choice for the staff. I'm using gold and a darker shade or a different shade of my brown in this case it was gray for the little belt piece you need some skin tone for your eyes you can use beads or you can use bands and I'm going to use just a couple of blue bands this time uh, what else you might want to use some clear bands or bands of a different color inside the sleeve but that's going to be up to you. It's going to be mostly hidden. and that's why I did that for mine. And I'm going to show you how to make the boots or the shoes as well, although I did leave it off of my original hair. Okay, so you're going to need your loom in two configurations. This is what we'll be using most of the time. It's the three rows with the middle above the others. For the arms, we're going to do like Kate Schultz does for her skirts and we're going to have two rows on the edge and the outer rows are going to be even across. You need a space in between but you'll need some support on either side to keep it sturdy. If you have a really strong loom you can make both sleeves at the same time and just pause between steps. If not, follow with me and then you can pause and go back and make it again. So this is my first one. This is what it's going to look like. I'm using brown. You're probably using gray at home. And we're going to start by coming around in a circle, taking double bands, stretch them across two pegs and make sure you have some pegs blank beneath. And we come down three times with double twisted over twisted bands. Now come back across, as I said it's going to be sort of a circle, more of a square really, but it's going to cycle back. So we follow the pegs back up, take two bands, twist them, two bands, twist them, two bands and twist them. And this is our very first row. For our next row we're going to take single bands, stretch them across the top and you push this first set down and we follow the same path. Single bands, not twisted. This is really probably the hardest part of the pattern, so if you can get through this, your gold, it's all, all good from here. You take your hook, and I'm going to take off all of the bottom pegs such that only the top two are remaining. We pull them over from underneath. I'm going kind of slowly here. I'll pick up the pace a little bit pretty soon, but I want to be as clear as I can on this. Go to the next one. Take the bottom four so that there are two left on the peg and repeat this all the way. The reason I'm, I made it so thick on the bottom is because it'll make it sturdy, it'll give it support, and it'll give it that rounded bottom cuff kind of kind of shape that we want. I'm going to come to the other side, grab the bottom four here, and the next four. Try to grab the right ones as you're going. If you're not sure, separate them, press them down. If you think you've pulled the wrong ones over, you can bring them back and just double check it again. See which pieces are sitting properly here. 
push all of those down. That was our second row. For our third row, we're going to move the bands from this fourth peg down onto the peg on this side here. So carefully remove. I'm going to hold it down with my hand, as it, my finger as it goes, and I'm just going to stretch them over to the side. So we have a funny shape, but we've made it just a little bit smaller. We're coming around one time with single untwisted bands, and then we'll loop those. And keep that bottom row pushed down even though you have several on that, that last bottom piece. Now we're taking everything except for the top two, the top bands that we just placed. So most of these you're only moving two bands. When you get to that one on the bottom, you will take all of the ones that we added. You can take them a couple at a time or all together, it's up to you. Bring them all over. And if you, you miss one and you don't catch it, it's okay. You can always bring it up with the next set, but we do want to try and get it in order as best we can. The rest of these will have two on each. We grab them from the side and we lift them up and over. Press them down, take the bands that are on your fourth peg down on the left and we're going to move them up one peg. Now we have six pegs and we're going to repeat what we did but we're going to do seven rows or seven times around. I'm just going to name the number of the rows for you and let you concentrate on your end. So this is one. row two. This will be row three. Row five.
Row six. And one more after this one. And the last one will be row seven. If you decide that you'd like your sleeve to be longer, you can always keep going. But these are pretty, pretty bulky buff sleeves. It's probably, probably good at seven. Pull the last set over and push down again. So there is our sleeve. We're going to make a little arm to fit inside. For your arm, you're going to need two skin tone bands, which will be wrapped two times around your hook. And we're going to pull it onto two sets of double skin tone bands. Now at this point, you can continue using skin tone. You can switch to your sleeve color or if you're using a light gray, um, you can use the clear and it will blend in just fine. I'm gonna use the clear on mine. And this is the, the kind of pattern that we need here, the numbers. We're gonna have double bands, pull it through once, double bands again. We want the base of our arm to be sturdy here. And here, because it's all going to be hidden in the sleeve and flopping anyway, we can take singles and we're going to use five single bands. Once more, I am using clear, but you can use your coat color or you have the option as well of using your skin tone. It's going to be pretty well hidden in your sleeve. I just wouldn't use like a neon bright color that might, that might show through a little bit, a little bit more. It's four. Five. Uh, another thing you can do is if you don't want to use all of your gray but you don't want another color to show, you can just put um, a coat colored piece for your last chain. At any rate, I think we're ready. We're going to put this, press your hand through, just push it through, pull it out, right through the middle. Take one of the pieces on your hook and put it to the left in the middle and one to the right in the middle. I'll show you what that looks like in one second here. Okay, and there's your arm. And we are going to hold on to the pieces on the left and carefully gather up the ones on the right. Put your hook through, grab the first two, grab your next three, grab the top two, we're carefully coming around and removing all of these just onto the hook. Take two of your coat color and very carefully you're going to transfer these off of your hook and onto those two bands, over those two bands. Keep your fingers on in that loose part on the side. We don't want to want that to come loose. Make it a little bit tight but not too tight. And I'm pulling these through a couple at a time till they're all sitting on and our bands are sliding nicely. Okay, put one end or put the other end onto your hook and this can go onto a holding hook just for now or you can leave it on your hook if you want but it's gonna be in my way so I'm gonna transfer mine. If I can, here. There. So pause your video now, please, and get your other hand, your other arm ready. And when you're all set, you can come back and we're gonna start on our loom with the middle row back in place. Okay. 
Okay. Now, the color that you use for your neck, that's your next piece, it doesn't matter terribly because it is going to be hidden. I'm going to use my coat color, but you're welcome to use skin tone or, as I said, you can really get away with anything if you're trying to conserve bands. Use two bands, top center to the second in the center, and you can add a third one if you want it to be a little extra sturdy. We are going to come down with double bands of our coat color from the second center peg to the second peg on the right and likewise from the second center peg to the second peg down on the left. And now we come down in each of the rows with double bands four times. This way your middle row will be sitting just above your other two side ones. Before we go on, we're going to put the pieces in place for the belt. If you don't want a belt, you can keep, uh, keep adding your bands and fill it to the bottom of the loom. If you do want your belt, then what you're going to do is take your gold or center piece loop it two times over that middle peg where we finished putting our pegs on our bands on that's our sixth peg down you can use your hook or your finger whichever and you can also always make it a little looser or a little tighter i'm using the metallic gold it's not as stretchy i'm wrapping it twice and then for the sides if you're going to have a darker color or a lighter color for your other belt piece whatever color you'd like you'll take one of those bands wrap it two times over the side and repeat that on your right okay we're going to go back to laying down bands and we're taking double bands we're coming down to the bottom of the peg we're just going to place them on top of those those pieces we just we just lay there this is for each of the rows we're coming straight down now I kind of, I was hoping that my Merlin would come up with a longer lower body, I won't say skirt, but for his, the bottom part of his rope to be a little lengthier. And I played around with a couple of ideas. I thought of one that you are welcome to try. If you want, you can take a second loom, get a, a piece and secure the looms together and continue with a couple of extra rows down onto your next loom. The only thing you have to bear in mind if you decide to do that, if you want a longer lower air, lower section, is that your extension, when we make our extension for the sides, it's gonna have to be, have one extra set for every extra peg that you've used. And I hope that, that isn't confusing, I hope that's and a clear, but that's another, an idea of what you can try if you're looking for a longer body for him. As it is, we're gonna give him this cute little one, cute little bottom. And it is all set there. You can put your arms onto the second pegs down on either side. So take all of the bands that are on your hook, transfer them on. I find they flop kind of nicely just sitting there as opposed to to what happens if we divide these bands between the top two. So our arms are on. We are going to do some holding bands. And all of our holding triangles are going to be oh, are going to be singles, single triangles. So unless, again, if you'd like his body to be tighter, you can double your bands over. I'm just going to use singles. Take one band, stretch it from your third peg down to your third peg, bring it up over the third peg in the middle. You get that pretty triangle there. We're going to repeat that underneath, and once underneath that, skip the section that has the belt pieces because we'll need to do that when we're looping. 
and for the rest of our triangles almost to the bottom we go down once twice three times four triangles five six and for our bottom one I'm gonna take two bands and stretch them across and bring the bottom part of the triangle up and over now let me show you how you can make your shoes if you want to have shoes you'll have to pick the color that you like and this is one of one of Kate Schultz's techniques I'm using here you take two bands I'm gonna grab my other hook looks a little nicer here wrap your bands two times pull it onto two black bands there are a couple of ways to do this I'll just show you one way here now I have my left my left finger through left middle finger I'm holding onto the hook with my left hand with my right hand I pick up two bands I wrap them two more times over the top bring the other bands back and this gives it a little added thickness and we pull two bands through if you want to make it longer you can add more I'm gonna I'm gonna add a couple of doubled over bands sometimes this helps it to, helps to give it a little bit of a bend and this is gonna go on to this these two bands that we just put on the bottom so I'm actually gonna well we'll make the other shoe and then we'll put them on together if you don't want a shoe then you don't have to bother with any of that but we'll make our other foot our other shoe two bands pulled over two hold on add two more twist two times replace pull it over two new and I put it onto two doubled over black bands now we'll put all of these onto our two bands and then we'll put it back on the bottom the way we had it before so I'll stretch it across I'm gonna pull the feet apart and I'm gonna bring the bands up and over so we are already oh before we loop let's add our our extensions that'll make it a little bit puffier I can't believe I almost forgot that again now let's look our extensions have a single band wrapped three times this is our coat color two times we'll do it actually and we're gonna pull it onto seven sets of double bands oh six sets seven if you count that first band there so there's one two three four five and six we're going to take the bands that are on the hook and put them onto the peg below our belt piece that's our seventh peg down on the loom and we are going to get our hook inside and we're going to stretch it through not the very cap band but the first chain above that and this will go on to the peg at the bottom Now we don't want this to sort of pop loose when we're done, so we're going to try take a piece out of each chain and pull it onto one of the pegs along the side. Try and get one onto each of those pegs. Got some sticking together here. can actually you can put your cap band right onto the bottom if you want it's really okay either way okay let's do the same for the other side single wrap it twice pull it onto six sets of double bands Five, six, and 
bring this onto the peg below the belt, your seventh peg on the right side. Stretch to the bottom. You can attach it either by the cat band or by the section just above. The result should be pretty comparable in this one. And pull a piece, oh, pull one piece up for each chain. I almost grabbed the wrong one there. ready to loop. I'm going to loop with you. Whether you're jumping ahead or not, we need to stop when we get to these circular belt pieces. So let's come in on the middle first. Get between your feet, get the bottom or the only two bands that are sitting under that peg and bring them up and over. And take the next two, loop them up. Loop up. One, two, three, four more times stop when you're at the belt piece but push those bounds down just a little bit so they don't come off. Now we're going to go on to the side. We're going to find the bottom two bands. You can even pull it to out with your finger if you need. Get your hook underneath and catch those and bring them up and over. Find your next two bottom ones, bring them up and over. Push the holding triangle bands back as you go. We don't want to lose those. We're going to keep going up. One more time, stop at the belts. And our left side, sorry, our right side, our other side, repeat. Pieces, and you've probably seen this technique done before but we'll still go through it slowly. You are going to get your hook, catch your loops for your belt piece and pull it up and over. Do that in the middle, get your gold, bring it up and over and on the, the right side. Put your hook right underneath the top, all the top pieces Take those wrapped ones that we did and bring them over. And now we're going to need a holding band underneath here. So you're going to take the holding band, get it ready. Take the top two bands from each of those three pegs. Pull it out to the side, but leave it on your hook. Place a band there for your holding band. So I'm just, I've just added this one on. We're going to replace those two bands and now it's secure here. Catch up your next two top ones, stretch this across, put those back and we're going to put it onto the third one now and replace. And then we can continue looping up. So go straight to the shoulders. It doesn't matter which row you complete first or which piece ends up in the middle because as I said, we are going to have our beard covering it. Grab the diagonal bands, bring them inwards. Loop up your neck. And then we can remove this from our loom. So we're going to ease this off and we'll be putting the bands on the top center peg onto our hook or onto a holding hook right away. First let's get this thing loose.
Okay, put your hook through those bands. Carefully ease it off now. You can even stretch it a little longer if you want to. Okay, so there's our body. We're gonna start on our hat. So come back to the top of your loom, get your hat color, and we're gonna come down six times in our middle row using double bands. I'm just gonna get the picture in front of me here. Okay, double band six times in the middle. Four, five, and six. Now you're gonna take two bands and come from the top center to the second peg on the left, and top center to the second peg down on your right. And then we're coming down five times with double bands on either side. Take double bands and come from that seventh peg on the left to the seventh center. So bring it up diagonally and to the from the other side. And just before we put on our cat bands, we're gonna make the little pointy corners of the hat here. So for this, you're gonna need to take a single band, wrap it twice, pull it onto one uh, one set of double bands, so two bands. Oh, here we'll do a doubled over band. That'll make it a little tighter. Um, put it onto a doubled over band. And then we put it onto two double bands, two sets of two. Wow. Wow. Sorry about that. There's a bit of a wind in here now. Got a window open behind me. Doors are slamming. Okay, here's our second set. And now we're gonna take the two that are closest to the edge and slide them off and just hold on to it for now. Take two bands, put them on the end and pull them through the bands that are remaining and return the other side. Put your other piece on and slide two bands through the left hand ones, like the closer ones. And put the other end on. So this is what we have now and this goes on to two bands and then we can put this on to the edge. Bring them all on, close it up and stick that onto your seventh peg down where those side pieces ended. If you want it to be smaller, you can always leave out one of those steps or just do a couple of doubled over bands, entirely up to you. Take a single, wrap it twice, put it onto a doubled over band, pull it onto two bands, And we're gonna put, bring two bands through one side. And then two bands through the other side. And bring this all onto another two and we'll place this on the right of our loom.
let's put our holding bands and then before we start our face we're going to get our beard done so holding bands are doubled over bands and we're doing triangles the only one that will not be doubled over is the bottom most one so we're going to do one two three four four doubled over and one just single triangle below There's our single. Single, double, 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 double. Now let's make our beard and then we can take that off and we'll do our face. So our beard is gonna come down five times in the middle. Two, and I've started it just below the brown there. Three, four, Five. I'm using single bands I should mention. Our sides are going to start one higher or I'm going to put it right on top of where our, beer, um, our hat is but we will be taking this off after. And we're coming down three times. And four times. And then we're stretching it. And then we're going to be stretching it down. Oh, we only need it three. Oh, we stretch it down to the fifth peg that we've used in the middle. So this is your second peg from the bottom is where it's sitting. And we'll do that on the opposite side as well. So it's three times and then we're coming inwards, but we're not going to the one just below. We're going to the piece below that. And our bands are going to be single bands. We are going to make a diamond across these four here. It's your, it's the fourth peg you've used for white on the side and the third and fourth pegs that you've used in the middle. So it goes in a circle. We're going to do two more and this will be a triangle from the third peg that you've used to the third and over up over the second in the middle. And we're going to do one more, which goes across and down and overlaps. That's your, the second peg you've used, and the second peg, and the second peg. And we're going to put a cat band on. This will go onto the very bottom middle peg. Wrap it three times, or tighter if you'd like. Or looser if you'd like, that's up to you. We're going to put our hook in and loop straight up the middle row. And each time you're getting one single band, which is from the peg above it. Watch out that you don't grab any of the others. You only want the bottom peg, which you can trace back to the peg above. Now we come back under the second peg that we used here, coming up. And you're going to find the top peg. We're gonna, we have to determine which one it is now. And we'll bring it back to the left side. The other will go to the right. And we're gonna loop up either of the side pieces. And then this can go onto your hook or a holding hook. I think we'll put it onto a separate holding hook in just a minute. Okay, don't take your hat off, but, oh, here, we'll put it on the one that has the body. But you're going to take the white pieces off, the beard pieces off, and grab it on top of the holding bands, carefully ease it off, and there, you can hold that for the moment. We're going to come back and we're going to add the face. We need two sets of double skin tone bands, so two bands coming down and two bands coming down. We need one set of skin tone bands on either side, double bands again. And for our next part, we're gonna go to the color of, the color that you want for 
your beard or mustache. And again, I'm using white, so that's what I'm gonna use here. I'm gonna come down one more time in the middle with double white bands. And we'll come down once on either side with double white. This way it will blend nicely. We're gonna take two more sets of doubles and bring them in words down diagonally to kind of close off the face area. We need bands, holding bands for the face. If you want it to be loose, you can use a single. If you want it to be, uh, and just stretch it across. If you want it to be tighter, you can double it over. I'm gonna keep mine loose this time. And I'll use a white one underneath, but I am gonna add something to this white one. And that is our little mustache here. So you're going to take, as depending how thick you want it, you're going to take single bands, wrap each one two to three times. I'm going to do the two wraps each. And we're going to do this two bands. I'm going to do three. And we'll add it until it's comfortably fluffy. I'm going to try it with four. You can play around with the numbers yourself, see what you'd like. Is that a little thick? Maybe I'll leave it at three. And we just put this onto a single band and stretch it across from that fifth peg from the bottom of the loom and across. That's right over the, the base of your chin here. And we pull this up. Now for our eyes, if you're using band um, beads, you'll put your beads onto your hook or onto a piece of dental floss and you'll thread it. If you're using bands, we wrap it three times. We get two, and we're going to pull these both onto a single skin tone, but try and keep keep it a little bit apart. And this will go on those last pegs that had the skin tone bad. We bring our eyes apart, we grab one piece of that and bring it up and over. Now let's add our little side hair pieces, and these are little hair chains, and our hair chains have... I'm trying to find where I wrote this. That's, I've written hat extensions twice and that wasn't it. Okay, well, let's give a quick count then. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we take one, we wrap it two times. We pull it onto seven single bands. If you want it to be stiffer and thicker, you can use doubles. Or you can use multiple chains. Three, four, five, six, and seven. You're going to take the two loops that you see on your chain and put those onto the piece that is holding the hat, the hat edge. And we are going to Take one piece of the next chain and pull it over the peg below. You can even put the whole chain on if you want. I think that's what I'll do here. And take the next piece and put it over the chain below that. And we're going to let the last little pit bit sit there. We'll make one for the right side and then we can add our beard and we'll be almost done here. Single wrapped twice. Pulled on to seven single bands. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we'll do just what we did before here. Put the top onto the last hair piece and pull each of the next chains below onto the corresponding pegs. Let's put our body on and we'll loop up from there and then we can add our beard. I'm going to get the beard out of the way. Place your body onto that fourth peg from the bottom if you're counting up. It's where you see the white pieces. Cut a piece of the mustache in there. Yeah. 
You need to reach underneath and find the top two white bands and pull them back to the right side. Find the next two and pull them over to the left side. Push these all down as you go. And the last two whites are coming up once. And then we can add our, well, our mustache. So you will have six loops on your hook. And we're going to divide them evenly between these three pegs that we've just looped onto. Put two onto each of those pieces. Hold it down as you go. That door is really bugging me. I wish I could. I think I'm going to have to do something about that when I'm done this video here. Okay, we can loop up two times in the middle. Get your skin tone band. Oh, first let's pull our mustache back after over so that it doesn't have the skin showing on top. Loop up once, loop up twice. Now go in at the side and we're going to get the bottom two whites and pull them up and loop up one more time. Okay, we'll do the same on the right side. I'm just turning this over a little bit to see better. Bottom two, bottom two. We're going to go to the middle and pull the top two browns or hat colored over to the right, the next two to the left, and the next one up. And now you can pretty well decide which um, which side to finish up. I'm going to go with the left. Get your bottom two. This one's tricky. You've got lots of pieces there. And the top ones want to come off because it is so thick. So we pull these to the side and we catch them and up we go. Okay, go straight to that second peg from the top and then we'll be looping up inwards. So get the bottom two, bring them back to the top center. And we do this all again on the right side. To apologize, I need to turn this around for a minute to get this. Okay, we'll wiggle it around and we'll keep looping up. Last two upwards and come back to finish off the middle. Just go straight to the top. You're going to take one or two bands. I'm just going to use one. Pull it through everything that is on your top center peg and secure it by pulling one end over the other. Now we can carefully take this off. We'll do a couple of Quick, quick adjustments, and then I will show you how or explain to you how the staff is made. Wow, he looks really different with the um with the band eyes compared to the beads. Okay, so we need to hide our securing band and you see I have a loose band here. I'm gonna have to tuck in somehow. I'm not sure how that happened, I must have missed one. It's okay, it can be carefully woven in. You can do this anytime you have a loose band on a project. You grab another band and pull that other band underneath. So I'm gonna secure that with a C-clip in the back and I'll have another C-clip to get the securing band. 
So again, we're going to slide that under a band or two, pop it onto a C-clip. and slide it under a separate band. Okay, you can give the hat a little adjustment, try and try and straighten up the middle. You can pull the little side parts to the back or the front as you'd like. Check that your arms aren't poking up the wrong way and gives your give your feet a little stretch in the direction that you want them to set. And now for the staff, the fashioning of it is pretty straightforward. What gives it structure, and you can kind of see here, is I've taken a paper clip, unfolded it, and slid it through. But let me show you the way that we make the bands, work with the bands here. You're gonna take two bands, wrap it two times, pull it onto two bands, And then it's going to go on to 21 doubled over single bands. So we put it over one, we put it over two, and you can do this on your loom or on your hook, either which way. And you're going to keep doing this as long as you want it. I did, as I said, 21. And then you are going to take your wire or paper clip, slide it through and you're gonna try and get it in the back and weave it through the pieces and you weave it through the hand and again you're just gonna pull it under every couple of bands there and you're, you're welcome of course as always to experiment and find other ways to go about it this seemed to work pretty decently so that's what I'm sharing with you today and I'm gonna try and get some more patterns up for you soon so thank you for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other Lord of the Rings tutorials and characters. And stay tuned. Okay, thanks for watching.